Hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück bei Dux Aquaristics Kommende. Ich bin auf der Interzoo an meinem Stand, dem Bio Home Deutschland Stand. Und der Mensch hier neben mir ist der Michael Torf, der Erfinder von Bio Home. Und da wollen wir euch heute mal so ein bisschen die Geschichte erzählen, wie es so dazu gekommen ist, zu Bio Home, wie er dazu gekommen ist. Ja, und so ein paar Details, die sonst vielleicht noch niemand weiß. Nicht mal ich. Und ich wünsche euch wie immer viel Spaß dabei. Wenn ihr das Ganze und drum auch noch sehen wollt und auch meine anderen Projekte weiterverfolgen wollt, vergesst nicht meinen Kanal zu abonnieren. Wenn euch hier so ein Format gefällt, dann lasst einen Daumen hoch da und natürlich könnt ihr eure Fragen und Anregungen in die Kommentare posten. So, jetzt fangen wir aber an. Hi Michael, welcome to here. I also met you here in person the first time. We worked together since four years somehow. Yes, yeah, four years. Yeah. So please tell me and the community how it came that you invented the, the biohome. We invented bio through, like you, my hobby as a fish keeper. Yeah. And we just looked at what was on the market, and everyone was using whatever they could find as a filter material, but it seemed no one had actually sat down and developed one. Yeah. They were just using what was already on the market, usually for other applications. Mm -hmm. So, with a background in ceramics, Uh, although bio isn't ceramic, it's glass. But I have the know-how, the help, the materials all at hand to try and develop a product for the purpose. And that's what we did. Okay. And then from then, when I started working with Richard Ponguru, yeah. he suggested there are all different filters. You need to make it in all different forms to fit whatever filter. Yeah, and then there was the next step. To, and to and that was the next step to change it, fine tune it, make a marine version, yeah. which had additional trace elements that were beneficial for marines. And that's where we're at at the moment. Yeah. Now we have 11 different versions. Yes. Yeah. Biohome. And uh, what's your favorite? Ultimate outsells everything by about three to one. Yeah. Yes. It's, it seems the one everybody fell in love with. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I see the same on this. Yeah. But what's the, what was the first version of Bio? Standard. The small grey yeah. and then the small red. How was the first feedback or how did you know that it has those special uh, features? It was just based on feedback. Yeah. Well, everybody when we first showed it people looked at it and said this will block. Yeah. And we said it won't. Yeah. But you need to try it because it's difficult to explain why it won't block mm. but it's not made like other scented glass media yeah under the microscope it looks totally different uh, the regular what we call regular scented glass is a piece full of little holes mm. the bacteria go in the holes die clog end of story mm. ours is made from particles They're fused at the point of contact, so the bacteria grow on each individual particle. Yeah. And there's nothing to block. It, it works in a totally different way. You can pull it from the filter five years later, it looks no different than the day you put it in. Yeah. yeah. This is also my experience, man. I'm, I'm using it since four years, yes. more, more than four years, actually. Because before I start trading, I tested it. It was the same skeptical as you Everyone's say. Everyone's skeptical. We yeah. want them to be skeptical. Yeah. Don't take our word. Try it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So, and uh, what? When did you first mention or, or find out that it also will elim eliminate nitrate? The very first uh, bio we made, we actually made for a pet company. Okay. And they did the tests. Mm -hmm. And they told us okay. that it will reduce nitrate after time. Yes, of course, after time is nothing as we say. Yes, yes. but well, then we found that a very important factor was flow rate. Yeah. You don't get the same nitrate reduction at a very high flow rate. You've got to fine tune it. Every filter is different, every tank is different, so you need to fine tune it to your system. Yeah. Yeah, play around with it a little bit. And then when you get it right, Don't have to do anything. Uh, okay. For many years. Yeah. So, is there any? What is the future? What do we have a new product in planning, or, or what? 
the future is probably into other markets that aren't fish related. Yeah. Because people are finding other uses for it. Water treatment. Water like treatment. Uh, recovery of precious metals yeah. from wastewater. Yeah. Hydrophonics. Yeah. Aquaphonics. There's a lot of people playing around with it in different countries doing different things. Yeah. They have a sample, we don't hear anything. Two years later they come back and say wonderful. Yeah. And that's how it works. Okay. Yeah. It's a small company you have, it's just... It's a small company, family yeah. company. Family, com family yes. owned, so it's really made also by the heart, you could say, you know, so it's <laughs> not just the commercial, because if, if this would be the case, you would maybe still just make it for other pet. Companies, yeah. yeah, we didn't like the fact that they were not explaining anything. They were putting it in a box, putting it on a shelf. No yeah. good. Yeah, we didn't want it to be just another product. Yeah, we wanted people to know that this works. Yeah, to get the hype, it works. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Was a short interview. So, ich hoffe, euch hat's auch gefallen und sagt da auch da lassen. In anderen Videos zeige ich euch auch noch, wie das hier mit dem ganzen Stand alles funktioniert, das Aquarium, was ich hier stehen habe. Ich bin mal Aquarium bei Friedeberg und ja, die Fische und so weiter. Na, also vergesst nicht zu abonnieren, Daumen hoch und dann bis zum nächsten bei Duxa Experimente.